May AI Design Socks. Hi, my name is Kate. I'm a software developer, knitting and crocheting are my hobbies, and I love technology. And I'm always looking for a way to use them in uh, another aspects of my life besides of work. So that's how I came up with the idea to use AI to design socks. If you don't know, there is Midjourney. Midjourney is a AI generator which can create photos and uh, these photos can be very realistic or you can uh, it can be cartoons whatever you want to use me journey you need this uh, discord uh, app or discord account and not option actually discord can be used from your browser but you need discord account and me journey could be used for free but for limited times and you can buy like you can buy a, a subscription to make more uh, arts uh, during the month nowadays people use midjourney a lot uh, for example software developers use it in more practical way um, we use it to create an icon that you can generate images for your website or i don't know you can create content you need Previously, it was much more difficult. You needed a designer to do so, and it it cost m much more money and you much more time than now. Now you can just easily gen generate whatever you want. Not easily, but still you can do it. And also, art people uh, use it to create an art. <laughs> they create something. I don't know. Can we say photographs? But yeah, art can, Midjourney can generate something which will look like a photograph from a real life, very, very realistic one. It can create uh, an art and people nowadays try to see if it's actually possible to see if it, the thing was, the art was done by human being or by Midjourney. But anyway, I don't want to go to this hole <laughs> and discuss uh, all of uh, the things I uh, told you before. I just wanted to make a small introduction about my journey so you will know what is it. So I thought it would be interesting to use my journey and try and try to generate um, some kind of sweater or I don't know socks, another knitting garment. And because I'm new in knitting, I didn't start with sweater because I of course could uh, generate a sweater with my journey but I I'm pretty sure it would be super difficult for me to need something by a, by a, by an image but I think I feel pretty confident I can knit a socks uh, using only an image of his socks I hope I can do it I had an idea of uh, socks of socks I would like to have it should be uh, white socks with splash of green colors. I would like to have plants there and I would like to use green for ribbing and for toys, toes. Um, yeah, and I would like to use more than one color. I made a description, combined all of uh, this information in one or two sentences and asked me journey to make an image for me, how these socks would look like. And here what I've got <laughs> yeah I won't say it provided me very nice photo of socks I would be honest I ex that's what I expected I expected like very realistic photo of socks and especially I have tried several times and asked uh, like majority make me a photo I would like to see a photo it should be realistic so I don't know it has some problem with <laughs> with knitting it can't uh, generate this very nice uh, stock knit structure uh, with fabric so I like how these socks look like and I would like to try to knit them and yeah again I'm a beginner I'm not sure I'm capable of doing it but I will do my best and this, we will see how it will go here what I have so far I only started, uh, that's the ribbing part, I like all the knitting, uh, it's a ribbing, so it's knit purl, knit purl, 
uh, knit down with white color, pearl down with light green color. I'm not so sure it's actually what we see on the picture, but I think it's close enough for me. Uh, yeah, today is 24th of April, so we will, we'll, we will see how much time I will need to make socks like this and I probably will make notes so I can share with you kind of pattern or something so you can knit socks designed by AI as well. One, two, three, four. to give you a small update about how I deal in this color work so initially I wanted to have uh, a clover on the cuff of the sock I think it's called the cuff the leg part of the socks I wanted to have uh, clover and that's what I was asking from mid journey the result looks a bit strange <laughs> it's not exactly what I asked for but doesn't matter I decided to stick with my original idea and make uh, clover and make clover leaves on the cuff of a socks so how I did it because I don't have any uh, pattern or anything I used a note app on my iPad I use good notes but I think it could be whatever you want whatever you use so basically I just open grid line uh, page and painted a clover uh, leaf <laughs> at, at first I drew a large clover uh, leaf and I think it looks more like something you will make with intarsia 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 and I'm not ready for it <laughs> not yet <laughs> I uh, would like to make color work so I decided to make a few clover leaves uh, on the cuff and I was like I draw a new clover leaves and I was considering I have 60 stitches uh, I cast it on 60 stitches for each sock so I can divide it by 30 I can divide it by 15 and so on and I need to this I need this clover leaves to be somewhere in on, on these 15 stitches I hope you understand what I mean <laughs> so I draw this uh, clover leaves and then went all, all over uh, cells with, which were under the leaf, under my paints, my paint, and just filled it with, uh, I filled it with dots, but whatever, you can fill it with uh, what you want if you will do something like this. And I will need this, uh, th these stitches I will need in dark green, everything else is my main color, in my case it's white. So yeah, so that's how I design the color work part for these socks. There are a few more rows with color work for which I didn't draw any charts or anything. I just was uh, looking at the picture and guessing how to make it and uh, mostly it was like knit one in dark green, knit one in uh, white or something like this so that part was pretty easy so the first sock is ready and I will show it to you right now but I I don't <laughs> I don't like the result I mean I like the biggest part of it but I think yeah, one thing I don't like, I will show you now. So here's it. It's not blocked yet, so it looks a bit strange. And the part I don't like, this green stripe. Because you can see, I, like I finished this and then started decreases and I also changed the color to gray. And I don't know. I think maybe it would be better uh, if this stripe would be a bit like 
up or I don't know down <laughs> how to say so it would be before increases will decreases decreases will start so first with gray line then decreases and this part would be fully in white I don't know what do you think I want to show you a mistake I made on this first sock and I solved it on the second one. So look here, um, you can see uh, then the end of a row. So it's kind of step between these uh, stripes, you see? And I don't really like it. So I was looking for a way to make it look better. So I will show you now. This is the second sock and it's much better. Yeah, I like how it looks. The trick is uh, then you need the last uh, stitch here in the uh, new uh, stripe. You should need it in the stitch on the row below, not like, uh, yeah, on the row below. So then the stripes would be uh, would look nice the socks are ready yeah what do you think uh does it close enough to the picture from mid journey uh for me yes i think so I decided to keep this gray line. Uh, when I finished the first sock, I didn't like it, but I kept it. And then I was finishing the second sock. I was like, yeah, I like it better this way. So I kept it. I'm not sure I told you which yarn I used. I used uh, yarn sock yarn from Scipius. I used Metropolis uh, for light green, dark green and for white and only gray. I think the name of his yarn is Outripe, Outripe or something like this. And actually only this one I didn't like. <laughs> so yeah, I won't recommend this one, but Scipio's uh, Metropolis is very nice sock yarn and I will recommend this one definitely. While I was working on these socks, I learned uh, new techniques. For example, I learned how to wave the ends uh, while you knitting, when you join a new color, a new yarn. And it was very useful because I have a lot of stripes here, color work, I have four colors. And it was so nice when I finished these socks, I didn't need to go and wave all these ends. <laughs> I like it. I used tutorial from Nitty Nati. Uh, the link to this tutorial would be in the description. It's really good one. And also after I saw her tutorial and I learned how to do this uh, waving ends during the joining yarn, it was pretty easy for me to learn how to make color work with two hands. And if you do color work with two hands, I'm not sure, maybe there are another techniques also useful, but that's what how I did uh, my color work here in this case. So when I was doing it with two hands, it was very easy for me to, it was easy for me to don't have floats uh, here. And yeah, uh, I like, it might better than with floats on the sock. I think if for the sweater I won't do it, but for the socks it was very useful. The advantage, advantage, advantage of these techniques here, the socks can stretch. And it's, yeah, it's very useful for sock, yeah? But uh, disadvantage is this contrast color, it show off through the through the white color so you can see it. I'm okay with it. I don't think it's a problem because I prefer this uh, stretchiness uh, 
I have uh, I have done another socks with color work and I left I did it with floats there and the socks not stretch in, in this part in the leg part and it's not very comfortable to wear because of this it's okay I can wear it but I prefer it this way and I don't care what you can see contrast color a bit through the white color I am fine with it I was concerned a bit about ribbon part and do it with, doing it with two colors and it also worked very, very well. It's, uh, yeah, I like the way it looks and it's pretty comfortable to wear, so no problem here. The goal of this video was to see if AI can design socks and because of this I decided not only um, make a visual part but also go, uh, go and try to make an actual written pattern and for that I used ChatGPT and I asked if you don't know what is ChatGPT, ChatGPT is pra practically just a chat where you can ask your questions and it will write the answer answers for you it's uh, you can use it as a Google you can use it to like I don't know to make some job work done for you for example I asked it to write a pattern for me and I will show you now what I've got but I would like to say it's like small disclaimer before uh, first of all this pattern I've got it's uh, it's basically the pattern from for my vanilla socks if you're interested in how I need my vanilla socks that's how I do it but it's not the pattern you may use to knit these socks um, yeah and also be careful because there are small mistakes uh, which ChatGPT uh, made in the pattern the, i didn't manage to uh, make ChatGPT to write a pattern which would be ready for release which could be used to knit with socks uh, yeah so i what i did i just took this uh, what ChatGPT wrote for me as a base and i uh, went through it, I found few mistakes, I fixed it, I made uh, counts for another sizes, I added instructions for especially for color work, for charts, some small things I learned during uh, the work on these socks and now I have a pattern uh, you, which you can follow and knit socks like this. And now I have a dilemma because uh, on, on one hand I spend a lot of time to uh, take this picture from a journey, uh, knit the socks, socks from it and uh, then make a pattern, fix all mistakes, uh, count uh, everything for other sizes, painting, like making these charts for color works and so on. Uh, so I spent a lot of time and a lot of effort there uh, but on other hand uh, the socks basically were designed by, by mid-journey yes I provided like an idea but the actual like view was designed by, by mid-journey and the base of the written pattern also was made by, by AI by ChatGPT so I'm not sure if this pattern should be paid or not so I will I will appreciate I appreciate your help with it and I really need it. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. And uh, yeah, anyway, paid or not, the pattern should be tested. And if you are interested to test this in testing this pattern, please let me know. I will leave an email in the description. Send me a message or just leave a comment what you would like to test it, and I will provide you this pattern for free so you can check if there are some mistakes I uh, missed or maybe you need some additional instructions for something I made here. In the beginning of this video I have asked the question may AI design socks and to be honest I still don't have, <laughs> don't have an answer. Um, yeah, uh, as I told you and I think Midjourney may design the socks. You can basically just go there and say okay uh, just imagine a sock for me and it will provide you some pictures which you can use to knit socks. Uh, 
But if you would like to have something special, you need an idea and uh, Mid Journey can't provide an idea, so it should come from you. Uh, the same with written pattern, it can, it, it, like, it, ChatGPT can write a pattern, but you should be very careful with these instructions. I would say advanced knitter may use it and may find all the mistakes which uh, ChatGPT makes in the patterns, but uh, I think beginner may miss them because they are not obvious. It's not something you will like immediately notice. You will probably notice it only when while you will knit already uh, a sock or sweater. It doesn't matter. So it can and it can't. In the end, my opinion, I think AI can't uh, be a designer. It can help advanced knitters to design something, but not design it by itself. Uh, and of course, I'm open for discussion. I would be very, I'm a very interested to, to hear what you, what you think, what your first thought on this topic. Uh, let's discuss it in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. I'm waiting for you in the comments and see you next time. Subscribe to this channel if you didn't yet. And happy knitting, happy crocheting.